guys, it's Rachel Risen from The Haley Project. Um, we're back from the Stream Awards, which were amazing, and we want to thank you again because it's been an amazing run, and I look forward to doing your Q&A. I can't believe how many awesome questions we got. And also, we want to give a special thanks to Kodak and Jeff Hazlett because they helped sponsor the Stream Awards, and even though we didn't win, they hooked up our team with two HD ZI6 video cameras, which are amazing. Can you check them out? And it's just neat because Kodak has been such a huge part of web television and we're just so grateful to them. And um, what's really awesome is that we are filming on our new HDZI 6 today, which helps connect us with your fans. So let's get it started. I actually grew up in Denver, Colorado. And so I was a little snow bunny there for a while. And then I moved out here to New York about five years ago. I would have to say that my favorite episode to shoot was The Nerve of That Perv because um, all of us, we, we were laughing the whole time and so was the crew. We had Guitar Hero going on in between shots and it was just a really silly day and we had a great time. A lot of you are asking about Haley's choker and one of the directors thought that the choker made Haley more edgy, so rock on. Why did I choose to do The Haley Project? Uh, I kind of felt like The Haley Project chose me. I didn't really know a lot about web television when I auditioned for the role, and um, they offered me the part of Haley, and I read the script, and I just thought she was a really amazing character, and I was so excited to play her and be a part of it, and um, it was a blast. I felt really lucky to be a part of it. Am I really that unsocial in real life? And to answer that question, no. I am. I am a super bubbly, outgoing girl, and so I am pretty much the exact opposite of Haley. And it's funny when the when the series started, my little brother called me up and he was like, "I really hate Haley." <laughs> I was like, "Thanks, Zach," <laughs> but um, uh, no, I'm I'm the opposite of Haley. I would say. How long did it take for us to film the Haley project? It took about thirty days, and we shot. Uh, through about three months. We were super run and gun. We didn't have permits for anything. So um, it was very low budget, very indie. And so it took us a while to get a lot of stuff done, but we were all really, really passionate cast and crew. And so eventually we did get it done and it, it was exciting. Where was the Haley Project filmed? Actually, we used a lot of different spots. Like for example, one of the producer's uh, bedrooms was used for the Nerve of the Perv. And then we would use his living room for like stoner boys. And um, one of the director's uh, apartments was used as my dorm room, which he loved because we had to like dress it up very girly, and <laughs> which was awesome. And um, then we shot in places like Central Park, we shot in Union Square, um, what other places? Downtown, like everywhere, all over Manhattan. It was. It was really fun summer because I, it was a it was a cool way to see the city and um, it's cool because when you're shooting on the street you have all these people that are walking by and they're like what is going on and so we had a lot of that and it was fun it's cool shooting in Manhattan. How did I get started in acting? I don't know. I think you kind of I think most actors feel this way. You just get the acting bug and, and you can't get rid of it. And so I acted when I was really really young in a lot of community productions and things like that and then. I went to college and I got my degree in acting and since graduating I went into the wonderful world of auditioning and have been auditioning and booking and doing a lot of exciting projects. So, you know, it's a lifestyle but it's amazing. A lot of people have asked if I do what other stuff I do other than the Haley Project and um, I've been a part of a few independent films. I, I've done a lot of theater in New York and um, I most recently just shot a film called Best Ribs in Town, which is kind of exciting. And yeah, I'm always auditioning and always working. And you know, uh, New York's a great place for indie filmmakers. So I'm, I, I've been very fortunate to meet a lot of wonderful people and be a part of a lot of really interesting projects. One of you is an actor and asked me how I found out about The Haley Project. And um, I found out about The Haley Project on Backstage, which is um, an actor's newspaper I would say for you, those of you that don't know and um, I almost didn't go because I was like a web series what is a web series um, but uh, I was convinced to go and I went and I auditioned and, and I got it which was awesome so um, any advice I would give to any actors out there looking to you know get involved in 
in web and indie stuff is just, I, I would look at everything, look at backstage, look at actors access, look at New York castings if you're in New York and audition for everything, you know, because you never know um, what something could become. And, you know, I've been, I've been fortunate enough to just do everything and because of it, I ended up on the show, which was pretty incredible. You were wondering why we put some of the names on the board during Try Try Again. And the reason we did that is because we just wanted to give you guys a shout out because um, all your involvement and all your comments, we wanted to be like, hey, you're awesome. And there you go. So that was why we did that. How much input did I have during production? And um, I would say, you know, I had some. I had a lot to do with, you know, Haley and who she was as a character. And, you know, the incredible part about working with Andy and Dato is they were always, always open to suggestions and always open to, you know, where we, how we felt and what we wanted a scene to do and, you know, so um, we were a team and, and that was what's really exciting about it, I thought. Jackson asked if I ever thought I would work on an award-nominated web series and to answer your question, no. <laughs> I didn't know what a web series was, let alone um, that it could be nominated. So. Uh, this has been such an exciting ride and super surprising and we're, we're so grateful to you Jackson and to all of our wonderful fans because you made the Haley Project what it was. Uh, what's up Virginia9000, one of our biggest fans. Um, did I expect the fan response uh, for the Haley Project and the answer to that is no. I, I was totally shocked the way you know our fans responded and got involved. I think we all were. and. Um, it, it was a beautiful thing. We, we couldn't have asked for more. So thank you to you and thank you to all of our loyal fans. And your second question, what impressed me most about working with my castmates and crewmates? Uh, I just think the caliber of talent and dedication. You know, I, I just, I, I was impressed every day with, you know, everybody that was involved with this. We were, they were so dedicated and so, you know, you know, motivated and, and we and and I was just you know everyone was really talented and awesome. Is there any flirting off screen between the actors? I would say yes. There's always flirting. We're actors, we're silly people and um, we just loved each other really. We had a blast. This cast was awesome. So I I, I had a blast with everybody. Do I personally want there to be um, love between Haley and Slade? Um, I don't know. I know that's what Slade wants, but we'll see. Who did I get to meet at the Stranger Awards? Um, I met a lot of really exciting people. Um, some of my favorites were Rosario Dawson, who I was up against, and she was so sweet and awesome. I met Jessica Rose, who is adorable, as I'm sure all of you can imagine, and she was so sweet. And uh, I met Mr. Belding, which was hilarious. I <laughs> met uh, Sandeep, who was a doll. And uh, who else did I meet? Felicia Day. Felicia Day is the shit. Let me just say, that girl's awesome. Uh, yeah, I met a lot of people, and it's cool because I think the web community is so small, and everyone is so excited to be a part of it. And we had a blast. We had an absolute blast. So that was the end of part one. You guys had so many questions, and we'll be back with part two.